What's up, everybody? My name is Mick. Welcome to Mick Thinks Tiny, your source for all things tiny houses. Today, we're going to talk about some stunning tiny house designs. We're going to look at some exteriors. We're going to check out some interiors. We're going to talk about costs. And we're going to talk about windows. Let's jump right in. All right, welcome back, everybody. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please do take a moment to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Don't forget to tap that bell. We drop new videos every week. All right, so today we're going to talk about tiny house designs, stunning ones, some that ones that really stand out to me. Some of the tiny homes that are on the market today are really beautiful, uh, visually striking on the exterior and doing some really amazing creative things on the, in on the interior as well. So I'm going to talk to you about three. We're going to talk about A-frames. We're going to talk about modern tiny house designs. And then we're going to talk about shipping containers as well. And we'll do a price comparison at the end too. So stick around. All right, so A-frames. What is an A-frame design? So an A-frame design is actually something you could see in a traditional standalone single family house. So it's nothing new. It date back, dates back to the uh, early like eight, 1900s. Um, so A-frames has got that triangular design. Just think of a triangle that's basically sort of like the, the main sort of like visual uh, geometric sort of design that, you're, that we're talking about here with A-frames. And they've caught on with tiny homes for a couple of reasons. So I'll talk a little bit about the pros. So we're talking about smaller uh, footprints. We're talking about natural light with sort of like floor to ceiling window options. And we're talking about just really lending yourself to high levels of creativity with the design, both on the outside and on the inside, because you've really got to make use of your space. And that's something you already have to do as a tiny house designer, as a builder, as an enthusiast, is really think about ways to get creative in tight spaces. And for those of you who are considering an A-frame, you have to do that even more. So that's one sort of like pro. Uh, talking about the cons a little bit, the cons of A-frames are kind of similar to the, to the pros, right? So you might be limited a little bit on the design. Um, it might run you a little bit of money with the windows, depending on how heavy they are, how big they are, what you decide to, to purchase when it comes to windows. And then ultimately that smaller uh, footprint and that smaller square footage. So the higher up you go in that triangle, you're losing square footage. So that's something that's uh, probably the biggest con with A-frame designs, but nonetheless, we're going to take a look at some pictures, we're going to look at some images, um, just kind of talk about some of the some of the, the design elements in them. So when we're, when we're thinking about uh, A-frames, we're looking at sort of like on the outside, just kind of the windows, right? So that's kind of what hits you first. These are great options for Airbnbs. Um, the price range for them runs between twenty dollars to $160,000, depending on how you uh, design and sort of like build out your, your unit and build out your home. But those windows are really what's going to stand out too. So just having that, you know, that triangle on the front, the triangle on the back, just floor to ceiling windows, just letting in tons of natural light. So that's a big feature that you're going to see in all of the, the different images that, that we're sort of like uh, tossing out to, to you all today. We're talking about the interior. There's a lot of different things people do uh, to get creative. They might just go sort of like the all white, bright, sort of like Scandinavian modern design to really make it pop, make it feel big and bright in there and light and airy. Um, you might go the natural look with like wood paneling, kind of like cabin style. Uh, and then there's just like the modern look too. So these can work as just home, just as offices. They could just be like sort of like uh, living rooms, maybe just a one bedroom. And then some people are making good use of that space over the top. So remember that little, that little peak of the triangle there? Some people are putting in some, some lofts there. And while you are losing some square footage with your loft, a loft is still a loft. So it's still a, a space for storage, maybe like a kind of like a reading nook or even the bedroom, uh, depending on, on what you want to use it for. So those are A-frames. One thing I want to say before I move on to the next um, topic, which is going to be windows, is that if you do want to buy your plans, um, you know, just in advance and you don't want to have to build out the design yourself, there are plenty of places you can go to. I came across one place, denoutdoors.com. That link is in the video. You can check them out. They offer plans for a couple hundred bucks. They give you the PDF plans of their beautiful A-frame design. So there are multiple uh, builders, manufacturers, companies out there where you can just buy the plans outright. And that might be a good option for your first go, right? It's just less of a hassle, uh, less work that you have to do on that front end. And then as you get more comfortable with uh, your tiny homes and building them out, then you can become a little more uh, comfortable and more versed in the design process yourself. All right, so moving on, we're going to talk about modern ones. We talked about A-frames, we're going to talk about uh, modern ones. Before we talk about modern ones, uh, something that A-frames and modern tiny homes and really all of them have in common are the windows, right? So what do we do with windows? So when we're talking about windows. We want to really maximize the natural light. We want to make the tiny house feel really light and airy and kind of like bigger than it actually is on the inside. And windows do just that, but they're not cheap. Uh, so I did some research um, uh, 
tiny house uh, website called uh, the tiny life actually suggests that you should budget anywhere between 10 to 15 percent uh, so I'm gonna say that again 10 to 15 percent of your budget just for windows alone because they can run you anywhere from 100 or a couple hundred bucks upwards of like 600 dollars if they're custom right so there's a different types of windows that you can put in your tiny home and that's going to affect the price but it's really important that you take the time to think about your windows because it's going to affect the the natural light in the space that indoor outdoor feel the amount of airflow that you have coming through your place as well and just the aesthetic right because windows are beautiful big beautiful uh double pane windows um double windows so we're going to talk a little bit about windows there's three different types i'm going to talk about we're talking about picture windows we're going to talk about double hung and we're going to talk about sliders uh, your picture window is just your standard window. It's fixed, right? So it can be any size you want. But the main thing is that you can't open it, right? You can't get airflow in. So it's going to it's gonna give you the natural light that you want, and it's going to be cheaper, but it's going to come at the price of not being able to move it. So that's one option there. Another option is your double-hung window. That's what you're used to seeing in your typical sort of like single-family standalone home, uh, the one where it has like that little latch and you kind of push it up. So those are your double hung windows. They're more common. They're more common, so it might actually um, be a good budget option for you. It might be a cost saver. And then the last one I'm going to talk about is the slider. So the slider might be a little bit more expensive, but it opens. It allows for natural light. It allows for um, sort of like an indoor outdoor feel. It lets the air in and lets those beautiful sounds from nature in as well. So those are your kind of options when you're talking about uh, windows. So those are things to keep in mind. All right, we've covered A frames. We cover windows. Windows are a great segue into modern tiny homes. Modern tiny homes are taking off, right? We're talking about um, sort of like simplistic uh, Scandinavian designs. We're looking at clean lines. We're looking at neutral colors. Not lots of natural light coming in, um, and kind of like tipping the scales with what we're talking about with luxury, right? So with tiny houses, you think about uh, tiny luxury, the show on HGTV, kind of really put tiny homes on the map for like just these really big, bold, beautiful, luxurious designs in these small uh, footprints, right, in these tiny spaces. So uh, that's what we're talking about when we're talking about modern tiny homes, we're talking about kind of like luxury um, designs for the most part. Price range could go anywhere from 20 to 150K, again, depending on your materials, depending on your build. The pro is that it's going to be pretty um, simple in, in, in a way because you're going to be able to go to any builder for the most part, and they're going to even going to have like, you know, preset designs. They're going to have a model set up because they know they have to appeal to sort of like the masses and mainstream buyers. So you're going to have, you're not going to have a difficult time finding a, a tiny home builder that can do a modern home. Uh, so that's kind of the pro. The downside is, is that it might end up appearing kind of cookie cutter to you, right? So like the exteriors are going to be kind of similar, even across companies for the most part, the interiors might be kind of similar. So, it might lack a little bit of character, a little bit of uniqueness. So that's something to consider when you're considering what type of a tiny home that you want to go for. Um, but yeah, they can be pretty pricey too. So the most expensive modern tiny home we've got on the market right now, as far as I know, is the Etcher from New Frontier uh, Tiny Homes. Um, and so we're going to take a look at it. And we're going to talk a little bit about it. So their model, the base price is $250,000. So yeah, let that, let that sink in, 250K, but there's a reason, right? So when we're looking at it, these are just pictures from their website. We're looking at it, we've got like a gooseneck trailer to start, which gives you more space when you're building out your tiny house, right? So like normally the trailer would kind of cut off where you have that extra little bit of like space on on like up at the, the side over there. So that's one thing. The other thing is they're playing with a lot of textures, playing with a lot of colors on the exterior, right? A lot of contrast there. Uh, that costs money and then when you go on the inside it's a lot of textures and a lot of contrast and colors but it's also very high-end right so it just kind of like explodes with like high-end finishes um they're sort of like marketing themselves with like gourmet high-end chef's kitchen king bedroom think about that right king size bedroom bathroom again like beautiful dark wood flooring so just like visually just kind of like in a different way than the a-frame right really catching your eye in the beginning with that gooseneck trailer and those textures on the outside and then when you go on the inside, even more so with the flooring and the beautiful kitchen. Who doesn't want a gourmet uh, chef's kitchen in their tiny home? So they're doing a lot. They're playing around with a lot um, of really beautiful uh, design elements in a really small space. Okay, so that's the modern style tiny home, and that's the Etcher uh, with new frontier tiny homes. Moving on, last but not least, is the shipping container design. I couldn't do this, uh, this video without sort of touching on the shipping container design because, one, it's really unique. It seems really simplistic and it's it's catching on, right? So um, it's becoming more popular too. Why? It's cheaper. So you're going to look at 20 to 50K 
period for your price range for shipping containers, pretty standard shipping container tiny home. That's a pretty amazing price. You can even cut into that cost a little bit and reduce it if you do a little bit of the work yourself. So we're talking about huge cost savings here. And it's a quarter, <laughs> almost a quarter of the etcher. So that's something to think about. Um, the pros is that it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy to design. Again, it's becoming more popular. The cons is, are the materials, right? You can't really control the materials with the shipping container. It is what it is. Um, and that might become a little less environmentally friendly. And then you might have some permit issues and building code issues as well. Uh, one company that kind of stood out to me when I was looking at different examples to show you all is called uh, Cube Living. So they're based here uh, out of uh, California, and they do quite a few different models. So we're going to look at their uh, K240. So this is 240 square feet, base price $110,000. Um, looking at the exterior, again, visually striking, playing with colors, you automatically get that texture from the shipping container where you see those beautiful little ridges, and that's really pretty from far away and up close. Uh, but they're playing with like an orange exterior here. The inside's very modern, very sleek. Again, good use of the space, good natural light. Um, sort of going more for that Scandinavian neutral modern design. So uh, cubed uh, living is kind of combining what we talked about with the modern uh, tiny house with the shipping container, and they're kind of meshing that into one. Um, so yeah, that's your option there for more of a more of a high end. I would consider this will be considered luxury um, just on the price point alone. All right, so. We do a price comparison. Let's look at all three. We look at A-frame, we're looking at the modern, and we're looking at the shipping container. If we're going just on price alone, shipping container knocks them out of the park, right? 20 to 50K, doing some of the work yourself, maybe at like shaving off a couple of grand from that price. And we're staying at that sort of like standard shipping container. We're not going all the way up to the luxury that Cube Living offers. Shipping container is your best bet. Maybe A-frame as well if you're looking for that smaller overall footprint. So modern living will be out if we're talking about the overall price. Uh, but again, if you have to think about what you want, right? So we're looking at small footprint. A-frame is the way to go. We're looking at, you know, sort of like floor to ceiling windows and tons and tons of natural light. Again, A-frame. We're looking at something that's more like more simple and easy to bring to a builder. We're talking modern design. And if we're going for something that's unique and also cost effective, then we're going to go to the shipping container. So that's how we're looking at all three of those. But ultimately, it's up to you, right? You're the ones who are on your individual journeys to... Um, Learn more about tiny homes, decide what you want to design, decide what you want to build. Maybe you want to build it yourself. So it's up to y'all. So this, the purpose of this video is just to give y'all a taste of what you have um, at your disposal when, it's, when we're talking about tiny houses and design and your footprint and your price point and everything like that. So I hope that you found this really helpful. Um, and in our next video, we're going to talk about different tiny house companies. So we're talking about veteran companies, the new companies. We're going to talk about what you um, what you look for when you're kind of considering a builder and what to sort of think about and then ultimately whether or not you want to go with a traditional tiny house builder or you want to go with a builder that maybe builds regular sort of like standalone homes and has the ability to build your tiny house to spec so that's the next video you don't want to miss it please do take the time to subscribe like drop a comment i always want to hear from y'all and know what you want to see what you want to learn and what you're up to as well and then, of course, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss our next video. And as always, don't forget to think tiny. Thanks so much, y'all. See you in the next video.